Good, good, good. We're all getting practice yeah. this. Thanks. I'm gonna test yep. it. There we go. Great. Get that picture off of there. Good morning, everybody. Um, as Scott said, I'm Wes McDonald. I'm a senior engineer with GSN Tech Consultants, and I'm based in Chattanooga, but we have a large office uh, in Kennesaw, so down the road. Um, and I've been working up here with the POA for about 10 years um, on Lake Pettit Dam. Uh, originally just doing the biannual engineering inspection where every two years we were up here inspecting it and much more recently uh, been up here much more often doing a lot more uh, projects than just the engineering inspection and uh, I'll like to just walk you through what we've gotten done since I last spoke to the community which was in December I wasn't here in person but um, just walk you through what we've been doing and what's upcoming so you can hear it from me and, and you know, besides just inspections, there's so much more to this facility that provides a, a amenity to the community. You want to make sure people are aware of it. So um, just since December, um, we've completed the low-level outlet test, um, interceptor drain designs, uh, stability analysis have been submitted to the state. Um, we've done our quarterly inspections, um, two of those so far this year. Uh, we've re received approval on our emergency action plan um, also conducted a tabletop exercise with the community on that emergency action plan. And um, as part of, um, I'll get in the details of each one of these in a little bit, as part of some of the uh, maintenance on the low level outlet, we've created and gotten approval on the temporary emergency action plan. Um, what we have upcoming is construction of some of these items, uh, the interceptor drain specifically, just making sure I, everyone hears me okay, right? Just making sure if I need to, great, thank you. Um, and also we're going to be initiating the design of the spillway replacement. Um, and uh, we'll also be doing construction of the low-level outlet improvements as well. So to date, um, just these last seven, eight months, uh, a lot's been happening. Um, the first item I wanted to go through was the low-level outlet testing, which is the LLO. You may see that abbreviated here. Um, which is an important feature that's required for a dam of this size in Georgia. Um, the state requires a method to lower the reservoir for emergency purposes only, um, and the volume is two-thirds of the volume has to be removed in approximately 10 days. So that's a lot of water, and you need a feature to do that um, when you need it. Ideally, we, you won't ever need it, but it needs to be there. So the low-level outlet accomplishes this. It was part of the original design and construction, but there was no record uh, in the community of that piece of the infrastructure operating. So to make sure we know it will work when we need it, we went through this testing procedure. Um, and really phase one, we split it into two phases, was done almost right after we had our last meeting. Um, and in phase one, um, we worked with a specialty diving contractor to um, access the, the low level outlet itself and get some dimensions of there. Um, the, the low-level outlet, I guess for those who are unfamiliar, is um, a couple pieces of infrastructure. One consisting of a slide gate that's at the bottom of the lake, essentially 100 feet underwater. And then two, there's a conduit that connects that bottom of uh, uh, the slice, sluice gate to the downstream end where it drains into the creek. So that pipe's about 100 or 800 feet long and three feet in diameter. So um, to understand what was there, um, based on the limited information we had. We had design drawings, we had as-built drawings. There was not any other information from construction. Um, the contractor went up there and using the appropriate safety measures, these were guys fully trained and breathing apparatus, scuba diving type stuff. And so that they were up in there getting measurements. And so it was really detailed operation. What we were trying to do is put a plug-in place so that if we tr test this gate, the reservoir will stay in place and that plug will hold in the case that the gate opens and is unable to close. So this was a very detailed operation um, and consisting of getting information, detailed design and construction of this uh, plug. And there it is, uh, I don't know if I can see, is there a laser? Yeah, here it is uh, being manufactured. Um, and what it does, it sits right there behind the sluice gate. Here's your sluice gate, bottom of the reservoir. Here's where they start and they had to go all the way up there. And, and this was very important to us because the conduit itself was not designed to take pressure. We could have put it at the bottom end, but the dam itself um, is an earthen embankment and putting a plug at the downstream end would put pressure on the earthen embankment itself. And we, we, it's not, um, we don't wanna do that for dam safety purposes. 
So the, the dam safety operation is very important as we go through this. Um, if I didn't mention, it's a high hazard embankment in the state of Georgia, category one dam, which is um, the, the highest level there is. Um, there is a risk to it in terms of life loss should it fail. Um, and that's why we're involved. Um, we're the engineer of record on these um, items. So um, we got the dimensions, phase two, it was implemented. We built the plug and we installed it in April, May. And um, we were actually able to open the gate. Um, the gate opened not as far as we wanted to, but it was able to open. We had evidence of that. We sent divers down. We got specific measurements of everything we needed. But during the opening, actually what happened was not the problem with the gate itself, but a feature called the stem, which connects the gate to where you control it at the top of the dam is the stem. And it has uh, stem guides, which you see here, the ones above water at the bottom. And um, actually those um, were observed to crack in, in several of those while we opened it. So we stopped the operation for safety purposes. The gate can still be opened if there is an emergency. But um, to repair those, we're in the process of, of working out the design and replacement of those as part of it. So the gate itself um, is presently closed. The plug is still in place. And we're um, on the process of determining that replacement of those stem guides and to make sure the low level outlet is continued to be used in the future. So that, that was a significant project we've been uh, going through since uh, December. Another project we've been working on is interceptor drain. Um, those are features that are on the downstream face of the dam that intercept some of the water that um, passes through the earthen embankment. And that's totally normal. Water does pass through an earthen embankment. It's not a solid plug that prevents water from moving. So water moves through the dam and those pipes um, uh, in intercept it. They get the water out and they put it on the face of the dam. And there's little known about that as well. So we conducted an inspection, and a video inspection especially, to get more information in terms of the size of those pipes, how deep they were, how long they went. And you can see uh, in the image here a map of what we were able to find um, and the location of those. And the good news is they were a lot shallower than we thought they were. Um, and so that, we used that to inform our design, and we've since um, completed a design of replacing those and submitted that to the state. Uh, as it's a category one dam, it's required to, um, modifications internal to the dams required to go through the state to obtain a permit for um, construction. And um, we sent those to the state on the 28th of April. Um, along with that repair, we also re, um, uh, redid the calculations for the stability of the dam. And we were able to determine that it meets the required factors of safety for the three load cases that we looked at. And those are requirements from the rules and regulations of the state of Georgia. So um, we had submitted those calculations as well to the state as part of that whole package for their review and approval. Um, it's presently being reviewed. Um, you know, any type of permit submit, submitted like that, we do expect some type of comments. And we do understand that they may be sending uh, the review of those calculations for the stability out to a third party for review. The stability analyses were sent in in 1998 as well. The same thing happened. They reviewed them, uh, had a third party review them, comments back and forth, and Geosyntec worked on that. I wasn't around. Um, but that was just never formally approved nor rejected by the state. It was just kind of left in limbo. So we have sent those in. We have ran them with updated measurements of the piezometric levels, the water through the dam, and um, you know everything met the factors of safety that the state requires. We ran three load cases. It's a steady state, like a day-to-day -day condition. We ran a seismic condition, which is an earthquake loading. And we also ran a rapid drawdown. If the lake just dropped all of a sudden, what would happen? Because there's a chance for that kind of condition. The dam could fail on the lake side, not on the, the downstream side. So um, you know, we're expecting some feedback from them soon. Like I said some, some form of comment, ideally. Um, whenever that comes in, we'll address those and, and resubmit if needed, or if they approve it, we'll move forward uh, with the construction of these drain replacements. We've also been conducting the quarterly inspections of the dam. Uh, the state requires the owner to do their own inspection of the dam, but the POA's taken it one step further and asked us as engineers to inspect that quarterly. Uh, engineers inspection is only required on this type of dam every two years. Um, and so we're, we have our eyes on it very often. Um, 
more than what's required. Um, also, since the last time we met, um, the 2022 Emergency Action Plan, that's when we initially submitted it, um, was formally approved by Georgia Safe Dams. And uh, that was um, an item that uh, is also required by the state to maintain your permit. It, it really is the plan, should something go wrong out there, what will be done? And it's a coordination with not just the owner, um, but the, the county, the emergency responders in the area, firefighters, sheriff, EMA directors. Um, and uh, so that outlines what would be done. And as soon as we got that approved, we, we had a tabletop exercise with the community, which is not required, but it was, a, I think, a great um, opportunity to make sure everybody who would um, respond in an emergency understands what could happen and what they need to do in terms of their role in communication. So we had uh, the picture on the lower part there is half the room. Uh, it was a good, probably 30, 40 people there um, participating in that, and it was a good exercise. Um, and the county sheriff, uh, Pickens County Sheriff was there, the county EMA director was there, uh, the POA um, staff and their emergency crews were there as well. And um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some of the public works director for the county, yeah, the local utilities, yep, yep. So um, that, that was great um, to, to take place and uh, document. So in addition, I mentioned the plug is left in place and the gate is closed on the low level outlet, outlet right now. We've also created a temporary emergency action plan that addresses that condition so that um, should ha something happen while, um, while that's in place, there's slightly different operation. So it's a supplement to our existing. And that's, that's been approved by the Safe Dams program as well and we've sent that out to the, to the responders. So the emergency response is, is in place should anything happen. So what we have upcoming, now let me make sure I didn't miss anything there. Yeah. What we have upcoming um, is implementation of several of these things. But first, we're, we're in the beginning process of, of starting the design for replacement of the spillway that's at Lake Pettit Dam. Um, the spillway is an important feature. That's where the flow of the lake is passed uh, the majority of the time. And we've seen through our recent analyses and actually known for some time that we need to update that. It, it presently won't handle the flows from the design storm event, which in this case, for this size of a dam, it's called the probable maximum flood. So it's not 100 year, 200, whatever. It's a huge thing that you really can't comprehend. It's 30 inches of rain or more, right, in a day, which is hard to think. Can I get half my precip yearly precipitation in one day? You think it's impossible? It's happened before. Houston's had one in the last 10 years. Tennessee had a 17 inch event in one day last year. So these large events can happen. And so maintaining that reservoir and the structural um, stability of this facility when those unfathomable events happen is, is important. So the update of that spillway is, is important to handle that flow. Um, and also we would incorporate updated design measures and like um, under drains and filtered materials that's underneath it that presently don't exist there. Um, the spillway's been in place 50 years. It's in a good condition for the age, but it just, it's time flow-wise and updates. It's time to get it updated. So um, also uh, when that permit um, is received from the state on the interceptor drains, we'll be constructing that, anticipating fall of this year, ideally. Um, it will also depend on several things. I'm sure the POA will keep you updated and the community updated with some announcements when that happens but look to see some um, equipment down on the downstream half of the dam where Wolf Scratch Drive is. There'll be some action going on over there at some point. And then um, we'll continue our quarterly inspections. I mentioned the engineer inspection. The next one is scheduled for quarter one of 2024, um, but we'll be doing two others in the meantime. And then also the construction um, to improve the low level outlet as we work through that uh, um, improvement plan um, will occur possibly at the end of this year. So lots happening, a uh, lot to still happen, and just kind of make sure you, you understand that there's a lot of planning and um, uh, items to take place for a structure of this magnitude, and I think there's a good plan in place here that's being implemented. Um, you know, like I said, 10 years ago, there was not much happening in regard with the dam, at least from where we were involved. So. Um, it's an important feature, um, and I think the POA's planning process is, is working here, and we're seeing 
probably in the midst of it right now for the day. So that's it. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you having me. Do you want me to stay? Questions? We'll do questions at the end. We'll do questions at the end.